Hi everyone, in this video I am going to solve a classic problem in electrical engineering. It is the discharge of a capacitor. But I'm not going to use the Laplace transform or the differential equations. All I'm going to use is ohms law only. Okay, now if we have one ohm resistor and one farad capacitor, okay, that is initially charged with one volt, and we have a switch right here that would close at t equals zero, and the discharge would begin. So that is our problem. Okay. Now, the initial energy stored in the capacitor can be calculated from this formula. Half multiplied by C times V square. Okay, so we have half times one, five, times one volt square, and we have 0.5 joule. Okay, now in the first moment, we have one volt applied on one ohm resistor. So, there will be a current of one volt over one ohm, which equals to one ampere. But this will last only for a very small amount of time. Let's call it dd. So, so we can say that I of when t equals dd equals to 1 ampere. Okay, so the energy will be, that will be consumed in this resistor due to this current can be calculated as follows. Energy equals to power times time. And the power is calculated by I square times R times t. Okay, now... We have I of 1 ampere multiplied by 1 ohm multiplied by a very small amount of time, let's call it dd. Okay, so we have dd joule consumed. We have the energy consumed equals to change in energy during, during dd time, okay, which equals to dd joule. Now, what is the change of voltage after this consumption of energy? We already, we already have that the energy equals to 0.5 times c times v squared, so we can differentiate this equation. What do we have? Okay. You will have dE equals 0.5 times C, which is 1 farad, times 2 V dV. Okay, so the final result can be obtained as follows. dV will be equal to dE over V. Okay, now the change in voltage can be calculated by dividing the change in energy by the original voltage. We all know that the change in energy we calculated earlier, it is a dD joule. And the original voltage was 1 volt, so we have a change in voltage by dd volts. Okay, now the new volt voltage after this moment will be V equals to 1 volt minus the change in voltage, which is dd volts. Okay, let's make a table to treat this issue. Okay, in this table, I record the moment, okay, in N dd, and the energy in joules and the voltage in volts and the current in amperes. Okay, now, in, in the beginning, the energy was 0.5 joule and the voltage was 1 volt and there were no current. Okay, at first moment, when t equals dd, we had a consumption of energy of dd joule, so the remained energy became 0.5 minus dd joule and the new voltage became 1 volt minus dd, okay, and the ampere and the current was 1 ampere. Okay, now in the second moment, we have 1 minus dd volts applied on, okay, applied on a 1 ohm resistor. 1 minus dd volts applied on 1 ohm resistor, this will cause a current of 1 minus dd amperes. Okay, now the energy consumption due to 1 minus dd ampere will be calculated as follows. So, change in energy equals to energy consumption in the second moment okay, will be equals to power by time, okay, this is the duration of this moment, which is dt, okay, power will be equals to i squared times r, would be 1 minus dt squared times 1 times dt, so we have 1 minus dt squared times dt joule, okay, now the new energy will be energy of 2 dt, remained energy after this moment, will be 1 0.5 minus dd joule, the original energy, minus the amount of change, which is 1 minus dt squared times dt joule. Okay, now the change in voltage after this moment can be calculated. We have this formula earlier, dv equals to dE over v. The change in energy we've calculated is 1 minus dt squared times dt, so 1 minus dt squared times dt, and the original voltage was 1 minus dt volts. Okay, so what we have is 1 minus dt times dt. Okay, this is the amount of change in voltage. We had earlier that the change of in voltage was 1 minus dt, so 1 minus dt 
minus the amount of change, which is 1 minus dt times dt. So 1 minus dt times dt. We can extract this out. So 1 minus dt outside, and we have 1 minus dt here, so 1 minus dt squared. This happened in the second moment, 2 dt. We have the energy here. Okay, now in the third moment, we have 1 minus dt squared volts applied on in one ohm resistor, causing a current of 1 minus dt squared ampere. This current would cause an energy consumption that would be calculated here, dE equals to power times time, which equals to the current, which is 1 minus dt square square, again times dt. So this would be 1 minus dt to the power 4 times dt. Okay, now the new energy, you do this calculation, and the change in voltage after this will be equal to change in energy divided by V, we have calculated this formula earlier, which will equals to 1 minus dt to the power 4 times dt divided by the original voltage, which was 1 minus dt, okay, squared. 1 minus dt squared. So this and this, we get... 1 minus dt squared times dt. This is the amount of change in voltage after the second, after the third moment. So the new voltage will be the original voltage minus this. So the original voltage was 1 minus dt squared. 1 minus dt squared minus the amount of change in voltage we've calculated over here, which appeared to be 1 minus dt squared times dt. We get this out, 1 minus dt squared we have here remained 1 minus dt. So we have 1 minus dt to power 3. Okay, now you can continue in a similar way. It's obvious that when t equals dt, we had a voltage of 1 minus dt. When t equals 2 dt, we had a voltage of 1 minus dt squared. And when t equals 3 dt, we had a voltage of 1 minus dt cubed. So we can derive the formula. We can say V of n dt equals 2 1 minus dt to power n. Okay, so you can calculate the voltage at any dt moment. But what about V of 1 second? Okay, was this equal to? n should be very large so that the product of these two numbers would be equals to 1 since, since dt is a very, very small number. What I'm going to do is replace n times dt by a continuous variable t. Okay, I've talked about this in my video about integration. You can check it later. So what I'm putting there is V of t equals to 1 minus dt. Now I'm going to place n by t over dt. Okay. And we have 1 minus dt to power 1 over dt all raised to t. This quantity equals to e2 minus 1. Okay. I've also talked about this in my episode about the natural logarithm. You can check it as well. So we have e2 minus 1 raised to a power of t, which equals to e2 minus t. So this is the discharge equation of a capacitor. I'm finishing this by telling you how do engineers <laughs> solve this problem. Okay, they write the current equation in some nodes like this, and say that v over r plus c dv by dd equals to 0. So this means that v plus v dash equals 0. Taking Laplace transform, we get v of s plus s v of s minus the initial condition v of 0, which is 1 volt equals 0. So v of s equals 1 over 1 plus s. Taking inverse Laplace transform, v of t equals t to minus t of t. Okay, that's how they solve it.